so serious. Yes. Fon Joy's one ninth scale, the Joker. Here we go, guys. We're going to unbox it now and show you guys everything. Box artwork is phenomenal on this thing. you got to put it on display along with this Joker. So what does it come with? It comes with a diorama set that you got to put the stickers on there with the broken glass, as you guys can see there. So really cool stuff. And it has a nice Joker little template there at the bottom there with his little logo. Very, very cool. So again, you got to put the stickers on. It comes with it. Just peel them off and you put them on nicely there. And then you just construct it. Very easy diorama set. What does it come with? So it comes with an alternate head sculpt, a menacing smile. Let's put a smile on that face. Comes with, what is that, a bazooka, a rocket launcher, whatever you want to call it. Alternate hands there, one, two, three, four, five, six. I already have the hand ready for the rocket launcher bazooka. And there he is. So comparison-wise with McFarlane Toys, uh, aesthetically-wise, I think the paint jobs on Von Joy is better. Articulation-wise, slightly less to McFarlane. Believe it or not, it's slightly less. There's limited range in the legs in terms of moving them backwards because of restriction of the jacket as well. Uh, but you can change his head. His head does a full 360. His arms can do a full 360. Those elbow crunch, knee crunch. But in terms of articulation, it, like I said, if you are familiar with McFarlane Toys, their base, Fawn Joy and McFarlane Toys are kind of rivaling each other right now. So it all depends on what look and what you know each one has to offer. So here we go with the posing. So first pose here with the bazooka there with his, you know, Standard face there. He's got the this clutch, clutch there, you know, ready to taunt Batman, saying, you can't foil my plan. He's got the master plan there of Heath Ledger's Joker. So there's one pose there. And then another one, you could do a lot of stuff there where you could... It's basically, it works like a statue almost, I would say. You do limited, you know, articulation with it. But again, once you get it into a pose you want, like, you know, with the bazooka rocket launcher, again... You know, whatever you want to, whatever weapon it is, I believe it's a bazooka, right? Um, you can do a lot with it. So now we've changed the head sculpt there. You can see him with this laugh right now. He's loving it. He's loving ca causing chaos in Gotham. That's what Joker wants. He doesn't care about anything else. He just wants to take civilized people and make them civil uncivilized once the chips are down. You know what I mean? And that's what he wants to do. It's all a game for Joker. And he never wants to kill Batman. No matter what, he could, but he never wants to because he... You complete me, as Heath Ledger's Joker would say. Pretty cool pose there, right, guys? With a rocket launcher looking through the eye there, right? So anyway, available at Babu Babu 00712. Link in the description of the video. Do recommend grabbing it. Um, if you are a McFarlane collector and now you're slowly getting into Fawn Joy, these complement each other very well. And it's cool putting them together. It looks cool with the base there. Definitely the diorama completes it all. All right, guys, link in the description if you want to pick it up. Do recommend it, especially if you are a Heath Ledger Joker fan. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and we will see you guys in the next video. Let's put a smile on that face. Take care.